and creep show, Tom was called upon to create a spectral host, a skeleton-like creature to lead the audience through the movie. So rather than start from scratch, Tom used a real skeleton. The reason for that is if I had to build a corpse from scratch, you know, for a creep show, I mean, there's nothing that moves and is designed so well as your own anatomy. The reason your arm, your wrist turns is because there's two bones in here that twist around. So I already had this hand that moved perfectly. So we, we put cables in it and springs and stuff, so the hand actually comes up and does this, you know, just by cables. I mean, the mechanism, the structure was already there. We just gave it life again. <laughs> gets an idea for a monster or a character from what the screenwriter wants and then develops it. Uh, makeup involves a lot of things. Uh, mechanics, chemistry, mixing foam and plastic, uh, photography, having a good sense of angles if you're going to try to fool somebody. In the burning, Tom made a bust of the actor's head and then used foam latex rubber to create a new skin or mask for the actor, complete with burn deformations. <laughs> There is a scene where a guy, a guy takes shears, you know, like garden shears, and he gets them stuck through a part of his anatomy, okay, by a killer, by this crazed guy. So obviously I had to make a pair of shears like the, uh, you know, the Steve Martin arrow through the head gag, yeah. you know, what's actually over his head? Mm -hmm. Well, I had to make a pair of shears that go around, you know, that look like they're going in and then go around the body and come out the other side, you know. So, <clears throat> yeah, you went, ooh, well, I'm explaining to you how it was done and you're still going, ooh, you know. But that's, that's, that's the idea, you know, to, to create something so real because of a mechanical device that you don't know about, you know, that's what fools you. The peaceful head. <laughs> In this graveyard scene from Creepshow, Tom designed the makeup of a man who had been dead for many years. But filming a corpse emerging from the grave involves an underground setup. In that effect, he, they dug the grave, of course, and built like a, a paneled a chamber down there with a fog machine, with air conditioning, with, uh, with lights that go off and on, with the sound system, so when George said action, they would hear him down there. The decayed skin was latex and Rice Krispies and, and corn chips. Are you ever scared by some of your creations? No, but spiders, spiders do it to me, and cockroaches. I can't, I can't stand bugs, you know, or, um, well, or oysters. I can't stand oysters, you know. <laughs> you know they really do a number on me. But uh, my own stuff doesn't because I'm too familiar with it. Why do you think audiences want to see more horror-type films? You go there because you want to escape from this ridiculous planet that we live in, and you want to uh, become somebody else, you know, you want to identify with the hero or whatever and go through his little adventure. So that's the same reason you want to be scared. That's the same reason you get on this roller coaster ride at a movie theater, I mean, at, at an amusement park, you know. You know when it goes up the hill, it's going to go down the hill, and that's when you're going to be scared. So the suspense is going up the hill, right? Okay, you go to a movie, when the music starts, and you know the killers are on the corner, you're going up the hill, and you wait, you know. There's this thrill, there's this escape. No, 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 no. Tom's been dreaming up monsters for 20 years, and he tries to emulate the work of his idol, the great makeup artist, Lon Chaney. For any makeup artist, the final payoff is seeing that his creations work, meaning they're believable, and audiences will attest to that. Uh, it was great. It was real scary. It had me on the edge of my seat all the time. It had a lot of nice scenes. It had some animation, some good effects. It had me, you know, wondering what was going to happen next. The makeup was really believable. I mean, that guy that climbed out of the grave and you see all this ooze coming out of his face and I... I tell you, it was, it was disgusting, but it was, it was incredible. It was creepy. <laughs> no, I hated the roaches. They were disgusting. I have to go home and deal with that when I go home. I think the movie is going to be a very successful movie. The makeup is really, really interesting. The stories themselves sort of get you a little nervous, but isn't that what it's supposed to do? That's my objective, to, to fool you in such a way that you, you, it comes across real and uh, it's believable and scares you. I mean, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the added icing on the cake. I'm fooling you, but I'm also scaring you, you know. I love to scare you. Ah!